So it's now been one week since the mass shooting at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, and I want you to take a moment to just try to guess how many mass shootings have happened since the mass shooting in Uvalde. Just take a moment to think it over. The number is 17. We've had 17 mass shootings since last Tuesday, and most of them took place over Memorial Day weekend, 14 to be exact, and those are the mass shootings that we're going to focus on in this video, referencing this article from The Hill. Now, you might not have heard about them because our culture has become accustomed to mass shootings. Oftentimes, they go unreported or underreported. Oftentimes, they're not as severe as other mass shootings, so people don't talk about them as much, but make no mistake about it, they are happening very, very frequently, more frequently than people actually know about. So as The Hill reports, more than a dozen mass shootings took place as the U.S. marked Memorial Day. The incidents over the three-day holiday weekend saw nine people killed and 63 injured in the wake of the elementary school shooting in Uvalde, Texas. According to estimates from the Gun Violence Archive, 14 mass shootings took place over the three-day weekend from Saturday to Monday in 10 different states across the country, including California, Michigan, Texas, and Illinois. The watchdog added that there have been 230 American mass shootings in 34 different states States, including Washington, D.C., in the first 150 days of 2022. The online archive of gun violence in the U.S. defines a mass shooting based only on the numeric value of four or more shot or killed, not including the shooter. So, um, we're not going to get to all of these here, but I just kind of want to read off some of these mass shootings and uh, where they took place. So, in Memphis, Tennessee, four people were shot and another person was injured at a car show in North Memphis on Saturday. Colorado Springs, one person was killed and three people were injured at a shooting at a parking lot uh, at a bar in Colorado on Saturday. In Fresno, California, three people were injured and one killed in a shooting. Ongoing investigation, so we don't have details there. Malabar, Florida, four teenagers were injured in a shooting after an argument at a house party. Chattanooga, Tennessee, six teenagers between the ages of 15, uh, 13 and 15 were injured in a shooting on Saturday. On Sunday in Chicago, five people were shot in West Garfield Park in Chicago on Sunday. Taft, Oklahoma, one person was killed and seven people were injured after a shooting took place at a Memorial Day event that saw more than 1,500 people in attendance. In Chicago, four people were wounded and one person was killed in a shooting. Benton Harbor, Michigan, one person was killed, six people were injured after an argument escalated over tickets to a concert. That's not all of them here, but I'll link you to the article if you want to read about all of them. But this is happening very, very frequently because the United States has more guns than people. So when you have so much guns in circulation, well, something as simple as an argument between two people can escalate to violence, gun violence, because many people are armed in this country. That's the situation. Now, Republicans will claim that it's not guns. It's uh, mental health. It's doors. But no, it's not just that this happens at elementary schools. This is a common occurrence in the United States. And anyone who tries to scapegoat video games or music or movies or doors or a lack of religion in schools, they're not having an honest conversation. It's the guns. And there are common sense things that we can do to minimize the amount of mass shootings in this country. You're not going to get rid of all mass shootings unless you get rid of guns in society, but that's just not something that's possible. But you can reduce the number of mass shootings if you do simple things. Federal background checks, caps on high-capacity magazines, waiting periods, mandatory gun safety training, mental health screenings before you buy a gun, having to come up with references before you purchase a gun. There are things that you can do that will allow people who want guns to continue to own them and also protect people who don't want to be murdered just while they're at the movie theater or at school. But we're not doing that in this country. Now, currently, Congress is on vacation, so there's no action that will be taken this week. And, you know, there's a lot of people talking currently about how this time it feels different, but I promise you, I had this same thought during Sandy Hook. Well, now is going to be the time to act because surely when children are slaughtered, you can't just stand by and do nothing. But Congress did. And I've watched 
Time and again, mass shooting after mass shooting, Congress do nothing. So when people say that this feels different, when Joe Manchin says this feels different, but yet I want to abolish the filibuster or at least create a carve out to the filibuster so we can pass at least this, but something feels different. No, no, it's the same fucking thing. What we're seeing right now is this hurry up and wait period where politicians, they talk a big game. They change their rhetoric temporarily. Even Fox News has kind of changed their rhetoric, criticizing the cops. Some Republicans, like John Voigt, are saying maybe we should do this, federal background checks. But I promise you, this is all rhetoric being used specifically to appease people. But after a couple of weeks, when the next crisis occurs in this country, everyone will be distracted, the feelings and emotions will go down, and then politicians will just uh, hope that you forgot that nothing was accomplished. So I hope that I'm wrong, but uh, don't think I'm going to be wrong here. But this will continue to happen, and even when we don't see massive headlines about a, about a mass shooting, it's going to keep happening, because that's just the American way of life, unfortunately. Do you enjoy watching independent news shows like The Humanist Report, The Rational National, and The Majority Report, but oftentimes YouTube doesn't deliver our videos to your subscription box? Well, I've got a solution for you. It's called the Opt Out app, available right now in the iOS App Store, coming soon to Android. Opt Out is an app made by and for progressives where they take all of the most popular independent news shows and they put them in one convenient location. You'll find all your favorites on there, like The Humanist Report, The Rational National, The Majority Report, and the app is updated multiple times per day, so your news feed is constantly up to date. If you enjoy watching independent media, this is the app to get. Download it today.